Welcome back. This is John Locke, and today I'm answering a question that I saw on Twitter, which is, if everybody in our company Googles the keyword that we're trying to rank for and then clicks on our result, will our result end up ranking higher? Now, this is based on uh, the assumption that click-through rate, like a lot of people say, has something to do with rankings. Now, it may or may not, but it's it's one factor out of many, and I think that there's a danger in looking at uh, a factor like that in isolation because like the video that we did about bounce rate very recently, this is something that could be very easily gamed. And case in point, I remember a couple of years ago on Twitter, a uh, well-known internet marketer, Rand Fishkin, did an experiment where he asked everybody at a certain conference to Google a certain phrase and then click a certain result. And what happened um, over the next few hours is that result seemed to go up in the rankings. But then Google made an adjustment to their algorithm and then it went right back down to where it was previously. So if everybody does uh, Google that's in your company, uh, Googles a certain result, it might change their personalized results but it's probably unlikely to change the rankings overall on the whole, and I'm gonna tell you why. For one, the only people that are clicking on that result consistently are the people within your certain geography. So the people in your office, the people in your company, and the rest of the world, all the rest of the people across the nation, across the world, maybe they're clicking something else. So Google is going to look at that broader uh, pattern for one. For two, it's a very easily gameable thing. Like you're trying to game the system right now and you're trying to cheat the system. Uh, and in fact, you know, if click through rate was the signal that you think it is, you could go on Fi Fiverr, hire a bunch of people to search for that uh, keyword and then click on your result. And in theory, that should make your thing rank higher. However, if you go back to our video about user signals, a theory about how we think Google might look at user signals, that is not a determination of whether people are happy with that page. And in fact, you know, a lot of things that are uh, on the surface uh, like that, as far as you know, title tags, click-through rate, meta description, all those things, it doesn't really mean much if people get to the page and they're unsatisfied with what they see there. So this is why you see pages that have content that fits the searcher intent and gives them the information or the task completion that they're looking for, those rise to the top, as do sites that are designed in a way that's aesthetically pleasing, they look pretty, um, they have good user experience, and they give people what they're looking for and tend to be shared and you know all these other things that are very hard to manipulate uh, over time. Those sorts of signals are have nothing to do with click-through rate. So if people in your office are clicking through on that, it doesn't mean that the rest of the country or the rest of the world is going to be happy with the search results uh, if you're number one and then they're like, we're not as happy with this page as we would be with another page that's in the top ten. That is, is the simplest explanation that I can give of that. Um, Google is looking to give people the best result and the one that they're most happy with, the one that gets them to their destination and their goal. Like I said, you can do that. You can have everybody in the office click on your result, but you should probably look at what Google is actually rewarding for that keyword phrase and what's actually ranking and study and see what those places are doing that's making them stand out and why Google is rewarding them. Maybe they have a completely different um, type of content for that keyword phrase. Maybe you're trying to run against the grain and against the searcher intent, and maybe you're trying to rank a page that the majority of people who are searching that term, that's not what they're looking for. Maybe your design needs to be updated. Maybe your user experience needs to be updated. Maybe there's elements that are on the pages of those other results that are in the top 10 that your page doesn't have. And those are things that I would encourage you to look at. So hope that makes sense. My name's John Locke. My business is Lockdown Design and SEO, and I'm here every single day making videos on SEO. Have a question, leave it in the comments below. I'd be happy to answer. That's all I have for now. 
Thank you to all the people who have come on and subscribed recently. Until next time, peace.